Welcome back to HPE Discover 2021, the virtual version. My name is Dave Vellante and you're watching theCUBE's continuous coverage of the event. John Gramala is here. He's the Senior Director of Product Management for HPE GreenLake Lighthouse, a new offering from HPE. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about cloud native. Hey, John, welcome to theCUBE. Good to see you again. Awesome, great to be with you again. All right, so what is GreenLake Lighthouse? Yes, very excited. Uh, another uh, new offering and innovation from HPE to support our broader GreenLake strategy and plans. Uh, it's really a brand new purpose-built cloud native platform uh, that we've uh, developed and created that pulls together all of our infrastructure leadership with our platform software leadership into a, a single integrated system built to run GreenLake cloud services. So think of it as uh, you know, fully integrated, deploy it any place you want on your premises, at a co-location provider or at the edge, wherever you need. Um, they'll all interoperate and work together, uh, sharing data, you know, running apps together, uh, great capability for people to bring the cloud uh, where they want. As we talk about with GreenLake, it's the cloud that comes to you. So should we think of this as a, as a, a management platform? Is it, is it also sort of a quasi development platform? Kind of where does it fit in the, that spectrum? Well, it, it's really more of a um, integrated system with all of the integrated control planes needed to run it you know, in a distributed fashion. So it's a, it's a true distributed cloud intended to run at any client location that's needed, connects back to GreenLake Central and our GreenLake cloud operations teams to go ahead and run any cloud services that they want. So you get the benefit of running those workloads wherever you need, but that you know, uh, you know, centralized control that people want in terms of how they run their clouds. Okay, so we think of these, these things like, uh, for instance, how is it different from AWS Outposts or things like you know, Azure Stack or Azure Hub? Yeah, yeah very, very simply, you know, this is because it's a distributed cloud, intended to make it so you could run it wherever you need. You don't need to be tethered to any of the public clouds or the various public clouds out there. So people can now run their systems wherever they want, however they need, without that required tethering that uh, much of those other vendors require. So you can really sort of own your own cloud or have that cloud come to wherever you need it within your overall IT. Can, can I tether to a public cloud if I want to? Yeah, the, the cloud services, like many other cloud services, can interconnect together. So no, no issue if you want to run or, or even do failover between public cloud or on-premises. It's all how you want to set it up, but that connection to public cloud, again, through GreenLake is done at that cloud services level. Uh, you know, where you would connect uh, one of these GreenLake Lighthouse systems to uh, the public cloud through services. Okay, so maybe we talk a little bit about the use cases in a minute, but, but how flexible is this? How do I configure Lighthouse? You know, what, what comes standard? What, 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 what are my options? Yeah, so we've designed it in a very modular fashion so that people can really configure it to whatever their needs are at any given location. So they, there's a basic set of modules that align to a lot of the, the compute and storage instances that people are familiar with uh, from all of the cloud providers. You, you simply tell us which workloads you want to be running on it and how much capacity you want, um, and that'll get configured and deployed to that given site. Uh, in, in terms of the different types, we, we have what we're calling two series, or a set of series that are available for this uh, to meet different sets of needs. One being more mainstream for you know, uh, broad use cases that people need, you know, virtualized container, um, any other type of, of enterprise workloads. And another more technically uh, focused with higher performance networking for higher performance deployments. You can choose which of those fit your needs for those given areas. So maybe you could talk a little bit more about the workloads and what specifically is uh, uh, supported and how they get deployed. Yeah, again, all of it is uh, managed and run through GreenLake Central. That's our one location where people can go to watch these things, manage them. Uh, you can run, you know, container as a service, VM as a service as needed on these different platforms. You can actually mix and match those as well. So 
One of these platforms can run multiple of those and you can vary the mix of those as your business needs change over time. Uh, so think of it as a, a very flexible way to manage this, which is really what cloud native is all about, having that flexibility to run those workloads wherever and however you need. Um, in addition, we can build uh, more advanced type of solutions on top of those sort of foundational capabilities with things like HPC as a service and MLOps as a service to better enable clients to deploy any of their uh, given enterprise workloads. John, what about the security model for Lighthouse? Um, yeah. That's obviously a big deal. Everybody's talking about these days. You can't open the, the news without seeing some kind of you know, hack du jour. H how does Lighthouse operate in, in a you know, secure environment? Well, you know, first of all, that there's sort of a new standard that was established um, you know, within these cloud operating models and HPE was leading in terms of infrastructure innovation with our silicon root of trust uh, where we came out with the world's most secure infrastructure a few years ago and what we're doing now since this is a full platform and integrated system we'll be extending that capability um, beyond just you know how we you know create a root of trust in our manufacturing facilities to ensure that it's secure running it within the infrastructure itself we'll be extending that vertically up into the software stacks of containers and VMs, sort of using that root of trust up to make sure everything's secure in that sense, and then eventually up to the workloads themselves. So by uh, being able to go back to that root of trust, it really makes a big difference in how people can run things in an enterprise secure way. Great innovations continued, and one of our big focus areas uh, throughout this year. So where does it fit in the portfolio, John? I mean, how is it, you know, f f you know, complement, or how is it different from, you know, the typical HPE systems, the uh, you know, hardware and software that we're used to. You, you might think of this as sort of a best of, uh, bringing together all the great innovations of HPE. You know, we we've got awesome infrastructure that we've led for many many years. Um, we've got you know great uh, more cloud native software that's being developed. We've got great partnerships that we've got with a lot of the leading vendors out there. Um, this allows us to bring all of those things together into a integrated platform that is really intended to run these cloud native services. So uh, it, it builds on top of that leadership, fits uh, in, in that sense with the portfolio, but it's ultimately about how it allows us to uh, run and extend our GreenLake capabilities as we know them to make them uh, more uh, uh, more consumable, if you want to call it, for a lot of our enterprise clients at whatever location that they. So when would I when would I use Lighthouse, and when would I use sort of a traditional HPE system? Yeah, again, it's a matter of which level of of integration people want. You know, cloud is really also in terms of an experience about simplifying what people are purchasing and making it easier for them to consume easier for them to roll out a lot of these things. That's when you'd want uh, to purchase a lighthouse versus our other uh, infrastructure products. We'll always have those leading infrastructure products where people can put together everything in exactly the way that they want and go through the qualification and certification of a lot of those workloads. Uh, or they can go ahead and select this uh, GreenLake Lighthouse where they have a lot of these things available in a catalog we do validation of, of the workloads and, and uh, platform systems so that it's all sort of ready for people to roll out in a much more uh, secure, tested and agile fashion. So if I have a cloud first strategy, but I don't want to put it in the public cloud, but I want that cloud experience uh, and I want to go fast, it sounds like Lighthouse is, that's, I'm the perfect customer for, for Lighthouse. Precisely, you know, it, it, this is taking that cloud experience that people are, are wanting, the simplicity of those deployments and making it where it can come to them in whichever location that they want, uh, you know, running it on a consumption basis so that it's a lot easier way, way for them to go ahead and manage and deploy those things without a lot of the internal qualification and certifications that they've had to do over the years. Uh, versus, okay, but and or if I want to customize it, maybe I want to, maybe I'm a channel partner, I want to bring some of my own value. I got a specific use case. 
that's not covered by something like Lighthouse, that's where I would go with the more traditional infrastructure. Correct, yeah. If anyone wants to do customization, we've got a great set of products for that. Uh, we really want to use uh, uh, Lighthouse as a mechanism for us to standardize and focus on more enabling these broader cloud capabilities for clients. And, and Lighthouse, so talk a little bit more about the automation that, that I get, you know, things like patching and software updates, that's sort of included in this integrated system, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely, you know, when, when, when people think about, you know, managing uh, workloads in the cloud, they don't worry about taking care of firmware updating and a lot of those things, that's all taken care of by the provider. So uh, in that same experience, uh, Lighthouse comes with all of the firmware updating, all of the software updating, all included, all managed through our, our GreenLake uh, managed services teams. So that's just part of how the system takes care of itself. Um, you know, that's a new level of, of capability and experience that's consistent with all of the cloud providers out there. And that's, that's okay, so that's, that's something that is a managed service. Um, so let's say I have a lighthouse on-prem, you're going to, you're going to, that managed service is doing all the patching and the, and the releases and the updates and that, that lives, that lives in the cloud, that lives in HPE, that lives in my prem. Well, yeah, ultimately it all goes through GreenLake Central and gets managed. Um, you know, all of those deployments are, are automated in nature so that, you know, people uh, don't have to worry about them. Um, there's multiple ways that that can get delivered to them. Uh, we have some, uh, you know, automation and, and control plane technology that brings that all together for them. Um, you know, it can vary based on the client on, you know, their degree of, of, of how they want to manage some of that, but uh, it's all taken care of for them. And, and you know, it's, you've got Green Lake in the name, am I to infer from that that it sort of dovetails in, it's one of the puzzles in the Green Lake mosaic? Yeah, exactly. So think of, Think of GreenLake as our broader initiative for everything cloud. And how do we start enabling not only these cloud services, but make it easier for people to deploy those and consume them, consume them wherever they need. And this is the enablement piece. This is that portion of GreenLake that helps them enable that connected to GreenLake Central where they can you know, manage everything uh, centrally. And then we've got that broad catalog of, of services available to them. And when can I get it? When's it go GA? Yeah, so it'll uh, July is when uh, our first set of shipments and availability are there. So just a very you know few days after uh, you know discover here, and uh, we'll expand the the portfolio over time with more of a mainstream version early, more technical or performance oriented ones available soon thereafter, um, and we've got plans even for edge type offerings uh, more in the in the future as well. So a case where we'll continue to build and expand um, more targeting these platforms to folks needs, whether they're enterprise or maybe there are vertical offerings that they want uh, in terms of how they you know, move all these things together. Think of telco is a great case where people want this. Healthcare is another area where we can add the value of these integrated systems in a very purpose-built way. Can I ask you what, like what's inside? You know, what, what can I get in terms of, you know, basic infrastructure, compute, storage, networking, what, what, what are my options? All of the above, you know, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go through the basic selection of all of that greatest hits uh, within our complete portfolio, pull them together, give you a few simple choices. You know, you think about it as you want general purpose compute modules, you might want compute uh, optimized or memory optimized modules. Each of those are simple choices that you'll make uh, that come together. Underlying all that are the, the great infrastructure pieces that you've known for years, but uh, we take care of simplifying that for you so you don't have to worry about those details. Great, well, John, th congratulations on the new, new product and, uh, and thank you for sharing the, uh, the, the update with theCUBE. Thank you very much, great to talk to you. All right, and thank you for watching theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2021. My name is Dave Vellante. Keep it right there. We'll be right back with more coverage right after this short break.